not eat friends. So this video is going to be about um, GED essays. The question I get asked a thousand times more than any other question is what was your RLA essay about or what was your science essay about? Like what was the topic given to you? And I tell everybody the same thing, but I still always get the question, so I figured, let's make a video about it. So, GED essays. They're never the same. Nobody ever gets the same test. The tests are all randomized. The questions are kind of just pulled by luck. So nobody ever has the exact same test to begin with. But... The tests or the essay topics are most often different. You, you occasionally, sometimes you'll talk to somebody who you find out they had the same essay topic as you, but it doesn't, it doesn't happen very often. Everybody doesn't get the same uh, topic as each other. And I can't tell you what my essay was for the language arts because that was so long ago, I don't remember. And even if I took it just a month ago, the chances are that I would not remember what it was because I have written countless essays, okay? Um, we focused a lot on proper essay uh, writing, how to, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? How to, dang, it's on the tip of my lips. How to, I don't know, lay it out. That's not the word I'm not looking for, but how to lay out your, your essays, the proper way of writing. But I've written essays from women not getting paid the same as men all the way up to um, is it freedom of speech to step on the flag all the way to... Um, when blacks got their rights for the first time to be able to do the same thing as everyone else um, and all the way down to the effects that ants have on the rainforest uh, science <laughs> oh my gosh what part they play in the rainforest and how big of a part it is so, the essay topics are countless, and I, most of those essays I wrote in class for homework, or just an in-class assignment. So, it's really impossible for me to say, on my language arts essay, uh, the topic was this, because that was the very first test I took for starters. And that was a long time ago. And I know my other videos, I said I've been in GED classes for two years and a couple months. Well, thanks to that handy little app called Time Hop, I found out that really I started classes two years ago last week. So it's been, so I graduated in like a year and almost, almost two years. <laughs> like a year and three months I was in classes so I said I was in classes longer than I really was but yeah your essays the best advice I can give you is practice writing essays a lot especially if you're in a class tell your teacher that you want either an extra assignment to do it or what I did when I was in classes was I always asked my teacher um, when I was practicing for my social studies test when are we going to do social studies? When can we s social studies? When can we study for social studies? That, that's my ne next test. I want to be able to do stuff for that. And I asked her so often that she ended up getting kind of annoyed that I kept asking. <laughs> so, you know, just ask your teacher, when are we going to practice writing essays? Because it's really important, you know, indenting your paragraphs and using or spelling and punctuation and using more in 
intelligent words. You know, don't use, I was mad. You could say, I was livid. You know, you want to sound as smart as you possibly can. And um, I talked about before, don't use words like can't or didn't or couldn't. Say cannot, could not, did not, it is, uh, we were, don't, don't use we're. My teacher made a big deal out of that one in specific. Don't use we're, use we were. So, but yeah, um, when I say, when, when I'm answering your comments and I say, I can't really say, or, um, or I don't, I don't know, I can't tell you, it's because I really don't know and I can't tell you because I don't remember. <laughs> um, it, been a long time and I've written I'm I'm God to honest truth I've written countless essays my teacher was still in college and she was still right having to write essays too and so that was something we focused on a lot man the Sun is right in my eyes <laughs> no, I'm all crooked. but yeah um just practice writing your essays because I can't honestly say what I wrote for the language arts essay because I don't remember so yeah that's what this video is it's just something short something I've been wanting to address for a long time but like I said in my last video my sister and them moved out so now man my days are like three times longer too now <laughs> so yeah okay that's it that's all I wanted to address um don't give up with your GED I know it's I know it, it gets hard sometimes and you start doubting yourself but if there are obstacles in your way chances are you're doing it right you know you're you're not giving up don't give up just because it's getting hard you know if nothing worth having comes easy so go for it okay don't give up um and like three, two, three weeks, I get to walk across the stage in cap and gown to get my GED certificate. Well, I mean, like my diploma. I have a certificate, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm going to get to walk across the stage in a cap and a gown, which is something I never thought I was going to get to do. So it's really exciting. So don't give up on yourself, you know, keep at it because once you're done, it's really satisfying to say, I did it. So, yeah, just keep practicing your essays, okay? There's a butterfly over me. No, that's a mosquito. <laughs> Alright, peace out, home biscuit skillets. I'll see y'all later.